Hey guys, we're, welcome back to Buster's Corner. Let's see, let me show my, my recording is working okay. Where are we at? We're at the Roval, B of A Roval 400, Charlotte Motor Speedway. Road course. I don't like them. I don't believe a stock car belongs on a road course. It's too big, it's too fat, it's too heavy. Um, but it is what it is. Let me just double check my recording stuff over. I had to upgrade my... Um, OBS and OBS didn't like my video settings. Uh, so let's see here. Who do I got over here? Who's making noise? Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, so um, the setup this week it was put up by Philip PBH. Uh, let's see our notes real quick. Uh, Philip Henry and the Henry brothers. The Henry brothers, I believe, he's got a cousin. And a brother, brother, Connor and Alton, Alton and Connor are his buddies that help him out. And so thanks to Buster Buddies for additional help uh, running test laps for him, stuff like that. There's our Discord channel, Facebook group. Uh, Phil has a channel, PB3 Racing. That's a link to his YouTube channel. Um, so f I know Philip took our um, Watkins Glen, Watkins Glen set up which was very, very good for us. And he kind of started from there as a baseline, which I'm sure he had to change almost everything. But it was it was a level car is, is what it was. The baseline was good for. It was good and flat and kind of had to go from there. And you see he's got some little bit of spring height on the right front and a little bit on the right rear. And that's to help with that banking oval. All right. Um, Gary. Now... During his process, a couple of things that he had worked on uh, was getting this car to free up in the corners. And I see he's got the P3 back here, and he's also running a P2 up front to help loosen that car up to get it to rotate. If you find this car is too loose on exit, I would jump back here and maybe brought it to a P2 or P1 uh, if it's too much for you. Um, I think Brother Bill has changed the, the front to a P3. Um, he says working for him. Uh, so those those are the two areas you'd go to if it's too free for you on exit or in, or entrance. Um, play with those two numbers right there. I wouldn't do I wouldn't really mess with anything else in this car. Um, the brakes. Uh, I like these calipers he has right here. I think this number was too low for me. Um, let me see here. Okay, this is a stock setup. Uh, I th think I had to put this about a 50 in the garage. So. Run your laps, get your brake bias dialed in, and then resave this um, with your initials at the end of it, and so so you know which one's yours. So you got Phil stock set up, and then and then in here the 2.0. Put your name, Bob, Jeff, Phil, whatever. So you know that that one is the one that you modified from stock for yourself. Um, that's the only changes I would make to this car myself is the, the brake bias and maybe those bars. Let's go run a couple laps here. Let's see where we are here on. Uh, Philip Solari and Channy Jerry Jari. Look at those guys. Now, those are road racer guys, aren't they? See, I'm waiting at a 123. So, but I'm quite happy with that. Let's just take a quick look here. Home Depot 45. Uh, so that might be just qualifying because he's not, he's only doing a couple laps and stopping. All right. And then mine. I'm in the 24, 24, 25. I pull a 12389. So these 124s, I think the first one was my was the set that we had before this one. <laughs> uh, just a comparison. 125s. And I threw fills in there. I got a 124. Uh, that's where I planted some stuff. Still in the 124s. I went back to the stock setup. You got a 123.899. So 24. So for me, but. These other guys are running them too. Aaron, I believe he's running. He's running 122 twos. Um, is the only guy I know that's ours. Uh, so, you know, we'll see. I'm not a road race guy. But we're going to turn some laps here. Drink a little coffee. For me, this race is just stay out of the way and finish. Like they all are, huh? Okay, we got a clear track. There goes Bill in front of us. Let's give him a little distance. In case he spins out. All right. Oh, my steering wheel is not on. 
Matching car and track data found in Sim Experience right. database. We still go? We can go. Profile modified. I had to redo my drivers and I shut a few things off. Uh, the car is slick right here on the first lap right here, the first half a lap. Watch this exit right here. You can't get up on that berm and get too squirrely. So it's slick. Tires, tires, tires. That's just the tires coming up to temperature. Uh, this is a real question here. It's the braking zone is really going to change on tire heat. Um, where are you going to start stopping at? You might be able to stop later here at the beginning. One, two, three, slow down. So, oh, check the brake bias. 42. Okay, that spills 42. I know I can't do that. I'm going to go to a 45. better all right there see how the car jumps out of me right there and that's just throttle control I'd probably need to go into my Helsinki brakes and do some uh, work in there oh too far out a little bit too far out watch the throttle right through here that can kick out on you up the hill, middle of the hill, downshift. Helps, she helps the car turn right there in the middle. Out here as wide as you can get it. In as close as you can get it. Up the hill and go, man, go. Now I left the session and came back in. That's why I got green, green up there. See there, I could have broke a little bit later on that too, probably. Yeah, that's why that's so much green up there. I'm not really going that much faster. Actually, maybe you guys can comment and tell me where I'm missing on my turns here, why I'm not as fast as everybody else. There, that car felt good right there, so... Oops, I didn't need third gear right there. I was going to, oh, stop, stop, no, 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 that's me. Ah, I was going to keep that in second right there. Let's do another. So I'm going to the top of this hill right here, and then I'm on the brakes. Try to take us out here wide, to the, all the way out to the blue stripe. I'm on the brakes, middle of the turn, downshift. Helps it pivot. Out wide. Alright. Right about the mark number four, I think, is what I want to do here. Five and four. One, two, three. I need a little more braking for that. I didn't have it. So maybe I'm more of the five. At the end of the white mark right there is when I start my braking pattern. Keep it in second gear right here. I guess unless you're faster than me, top of the hill brakes. Let it roll down here, go way out wide. A little bit of brake to get her back inside. Oh, I cut that down too short, didn't I? I suck at this. <laughs> All right, so that might be a little too loose for me too. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna tighten this, I'm gonna go to P2. 
Uh, breaks are 49. Okay. And then mm, I hate to move this one, but I'm going to. Now let's see what we get. Make sure nobody behind me. But other road courses, I think I know Roval better than some of the other ones. Definitely not Coda. But um, because, right, you kind of grew up uh, doing the MX-5s on here, right? Grew up. So you got your road, your road license, MX-5. I mean, I'm not I'm not uh, as fast as the other guys. I'm not going to do a 121, so I don't need to worry about getting fast laps for myself. I just need to be able to survive this and not spin the car out. And I'll go plowing through this corner right here. Can't plow through the corner. I'm gonna take that 45 break and move it up a little bit more. We'll go to 46.2. Ah, too far out. Come on, bring it back in. Get it in there. Brakes, middle of the hill, downshift. Get the car to jerk over to the right. There you go. Get it out wide. One more lap. We finally completed a lap here, didn't we? Top of the hill on the brakes. Slide up to the top of the turn. Diamond this corner right here a little bit. Up to third. Up to the middle of the turn. Downshift at the middle. Up and around. Push, let it push out wide. Come back. There we go. Just like that, baby cakes. Nine thousand. Shift it at nine thousand down there. Not letting it go too far. One, two, three. Down hard. Don't miss this turn. Not worth it. At the end of this white stripe, into the white stripe, let down go, downshift, downshift, down together. There you go. That's me. Come here behind me. I can stop. Let's get out. Get out, get out, get out. 123.6. I hear you, buddy. I was in the middle of a run. What's what's going on? No, I was just saying, I got my uh, op optimum time down to 121.4. I just can't put a damn lot together. <laughs> yeah, that can be tough. I just ran my fastest lap, 123.6. 
I'll take that. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, so I'm going to go in here. Um, I'm going to save this as... You know, I'm going to see. save as. I'm going to... Well... Sorry, Buster. I'm going to take your name off of there. That's mine. My race set. Okay. That's it. Philip B. Henry. Oh, save as. That's it. Um, tire wear. I think you're going to see significant tire wear on the right side, like you see right here. And maybe in that right front, coming up in that trioval. So if you push that trioval too hard, not the trioval, dummy, the big sweeping turn onto the big track. As you get onto the big track, that left hander, you might uh, get some heat in here. So I think if, if I did do a tire change, I'd probably change right sides on a pit stop with fuel. Um, and that's it. I'm just going to go fuel only. But I think I'd get right sides. Okay. Um, we did the notes. So that's it. All right. I think that's it. Um, let me see. Let's go do this real quick. We'll take my... Oh, you one's fine. I'm trying to give you some idea what I was doing here. So I'm trying to keep this in. This is coming. We just came past the start finish line. All right. I'm trying to keep this in second gear and let it off and let it roll through here. Now, if you're faster than me coming through there, then you may actually want to hit third gear. Um, I think the idea here is not to have to shift at that point and just kind of drag that out a little bit. Let off the gas and it'll crank left. So there's a little bump right here, right? there you see that come over the little hill right there I'm back out of it we're gonna diamond this turn off actually I went too far right there huh you know when you go back to this turn right here brother Bill and I were talking about the car being too high this rumble strip will mess you up if this car's too low so I like where Phil's got the right heights we can come up over this uh, with my bars, with the change of the bars, this wasn't quite so loose for me on this go around. Um, I tightened it up a little bit. Um, but you can't get on the gas too much here. Well, you got to be careful. Make sure you get the car straight and you're not sideways going across these strips right here. You hear the engine kind of right there. So slow down, middle of the turn, downshift it, and that'll help jerk that car to the right in here and then take us out wide to the to the lights so you get a better radio right there that right there that's where it's going to burn up the tire if you're coming in here too shallow if you will or too wide or you're off the the, the apex of this corner this car is going to push up that wall and you're going to crank it down and try and fight to get that car to turn left so you really need to be almost off throttle right here in my opinion to get that car to hook left as much as possible let it kind of roll through here till you get it right there you go see i wait to get back on the gas if you got on the gas too soon and you're going to push that tire you're going to burn the sucker up okay stop 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 so is this showing me it's not showing your brakes and stuff is it hmm. all right so i'm coming down through here between the four and the five. Now, if you guys can come up with a better set of brake calipers, please, please, please let us know. Um, it's hard to go through and test all of them. Uh, leave your comments down below with your brake calipers. Master cylinders. I'm sorry, they're called master cylinders. Okay, right here, this is this piece, this uh, end of this white line coming up. This is kind of my, my point right here. It may just be full before it, huh? That's a wreck. Let's do one more lap real quick. Coasting in through here. There we go. Finally at 21. I knew you could do it. Coast right through here. Top of the hill. Let out. Dime in the corner. 
Get the car straight. There you go. Get that car straight right there on those rumble strips. I think the biggest thing that just helped me is they changed down to a 4.357 gear. Uh, getting a lot less wheel spin trying to come out of the corners. Oh, what was that gear number? The 357? Uh, 4.357. Okay. All right, we'll take a look at that. Thanks, bud. There you go. Yeah, no problem. Like, uh, just going from one lap to that lap, it's like in uh, half a second on my previous best. I'm going to try it right now. All right, let's go do that. Okay, where's he's, uh, he's going too taller, which... Let's go find now it. my optimum's down to one twenty one two. Oh, that's awesome. That's just their way of telling you you're not perfect yet, huh? No, far from it. Oh, there goes Bill out of the pits. Bill just got that, put that gear in his car, and off he goes. Dang it. How much, uh, how much time do I have left on the recording? Uh, we're at 21 minutes. Okay, we can go a little bit further. Uh, am I clear? I'm clear. Let's go try the gear. You know what Bill's doing. Bill's listening, going, oh, I'm going to try that gear. Bill loves changing gears. Not saying he's wrong. Just saying he likes, he's a gearhead. And his cars are evil on cold tires. Jeez. Yes, they are. Well, especially with the bars as loose as he has the bars. Yeah, it's going to kill you. Shift in the middle. Checkered flag. Now I have to go back and try the gear again. Uh, thanks for the practice, guys. Hi, right, buddy. See you later. Well, I didn't need to go to fifth gear there, did I? Which was something I was playing with earlier. One of the earlier setups was not to run such a, a gear like that. Run a taller gear. Less shifting. Just took out my fourth gear. I really think it brings the motor down better, too. Did you finish your video? Your flag. Almost. Couple more minutes. Okay, we we gotta get here, guys. So, but I think, oops, stop, 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 stop. All right, I'm. I guess I need to get up for a while. Yeah, me too. Time to make breakfast. Okay, um, I'm gonna save that. All right, get you later. All right, I'm gonna save that, and that was with the gear. Three five seven. Cause I think I think he's onto something there. I was like I said, I was praying that earlier. Um, that's okay. Okay, we're done here. Um, uh, Aaron finally got to the one twenty one seven. Oh, there you go. He's right there with those guys. We figured it out. One twenty three six. I'm getting there, but I'm nowhere. I'm still two seconds off. But I'm I'm okay with my one twenty three point six. I think that's just fine. If I can be consistent, stay on the track. I think I got it. You know, probably a top five finish on a road course. Okay, guys, I think that's it. We're out of here. Happy race day. Um, make sure you like the video. Sh uh, share the video with your buddies. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, the more thumbs up we get, the more guys see the videos. Um, if you get anything out of the video, of anybody's video, please give them a thumbs up. It does help us uh, promote our, our channels. Um, join the Discord. The link is down below. Facebook is there if you want to... Um, uh, add pictures there. Uh, that's it. I'm out. Happy race day, guys.